Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Jack. Um, right now I'm in Oak Hill Cemetery. This is the um, oldest cemetery in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, there's a few few notable people here. The um, founder of the Sloss Furnace. Um, if you know know about the furnace around here, he's uh, buried here. Um, they also the first born male um, in the city um, is uh, buried here. Um, I think they do tours, but um, I think there's going to be some pretty good shots of the city. So we'll see about you know see what we can do about getting some nice shots. I don't even know where the um, the entrance to this place is. Um, I just kind of, there was a fence down, so I just went to, um, you know, went over it. I don't know if there's a security guard or if they close at any time, but uh, anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd show you around a pretty historic uh, place. We got a couple of historic graveyards around here. Um, yeah, so uh, if anybody caught my last video, you, um, you know, might have been wondering, you know, Jack, what are you doing in a cemetery? Well, there's a there's a few things. So I'm starting my new uh, YouTube channel. So thank you to everybody who subscribed and been watching my videos. I uploaded some some acoustic cover songs. So go check those out. Um, so you know, I'm just trying to figure out stuff to do. And like I was asking you last time, uh, let me know you know what you want me to do and uh but I, I figure in the meantime you know this is just a video format where where i can um you know there's not a whole lot of people out here so it's you're not running into people um, not that i have a problem with people or anything it's just makes it difficult to film sometimes um, another thing is you know i'm not out here with a ouija board or trying to uh i'm gonna turn this around so you you can see these graves a little better some really cool headstones yeah i'm not out here trying to talk to the dead or anything um if anything i'm out here just to pay respects and you know to some some graves might be out here that don't get any visitors but um i don't come with any ill intent i think um you know it's good to remember that uh, you know more than likely we're all gonna uh, end up at a place like this one day so uh, you know and also if uh, you know I were out here I feel like I would like you know people to come visit too but and I don't know maybe it's uh maybe it's disrespectful or something to film in a in a graveyard um, comment down below if you have any opinions on that or but uh yeah so so yeah that's that and um yeah but comment down below what you think about that and if um if you like these i mean let me know you know it's places people don't always go and like i said this is historic and i've got a few other historical type spots that i want to check out too okay one thing I I noticed is that this place had a really good shot of the city. So there is Birmingham. That's the main downtown area if you've never been. Uh, yeah, but I found out that this was the um, oldest cemetery in, um, in the city. And I didn't know because there's another one that's called the... Uh, the Elmwood Cemetery, and I want to go go there. There's a uh, something kind of special there. I want to show all my viewers. But um, if you're watching this video, thanks for uh, thanks for being here, and uh, please just like and subscribe and go check out some of the, some of my other videos that I've got up here. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna. Kind of look around, see if I can 
see any cool gravestones. I think that might be a mausoleum. I know they had a building down here that was the uh, it was the caretaker's house. I'm not sure where that is, but yeah. So I mean, I live in Birmingham, but this is my first time down here, so this is new for me as well. It's, it's pretty cool. It's an obelisk. It's a big obelisk. Yeah, I'm going to turn this around. Maybe I can... I don't know. Can you see the city? See the city back there? See it back there? I can't really see it. Maybe up here. A bit. Okay, so I guess this is the the edge of it. I thought I, thought I might have heard somebody. Like I said, I don't know if there's a security guard here or whatnot, but uh, normally dark is when these places close, I guess, but they do offer tours in here, so I don't know if it's more of a historical thing. Sorry if, you know, anybody gets upset over this, but um, yeah. And uh, I saw some reviews and people were saying that they have really nice graves here. Um, and so far that's it's been true, fairly true. It's pretty cool, there's an eagle up there. Uh-oh, there's some trash, so I'm doing a, doing a good deed here. So I found out that these, uh, my camera cuts off at about 20 minutes. So, I mean, I can make, keep filming and make some more. You know, the plane flying over right now. But so yeah, this is another, um, another sunset graveyard video. Just want to take you guys somewhere I drive past this place all the time and uh, see it and it looks really awesome. I've always wanted to come here because it's literally built right right above the city here. So that would be near Railroad Park down there. Let's see. It's a smokestack. I want to see the south side with this. Yeah. Oops. There's that big obelisk over there. Can't really see the buildings in the city from here. Um, there's a good view of the downtown. There's a lot of trees. Lot of trees around here. So, um, yeah, my last video I was just kind of talking about some different ideas I had for the channel. Um, I was thinking of doing a, uh, like I said, one with where I eat and, uh, you know, it's like we sit down for a meal together. Uh, I don't know if, I guess when they do that, you can always eat too. And <laughs> But uh, I don't know, I was thinking today, maybe um, I get some Buffalo Wild Wings, get some of the hottest, hottest wings. I guess that'd be more like a, like a challenge but yeah yeah one thing about um about Birmingham it's in a in a valley it's called Jones Valley and even even about 15 miles north of here just on the interstate you can kind of look down and see the see the buildings in the valley but um I don't know I guess this place is it's pretty big I'm just kind of Gone up this big hill right now. Maybe I can get a good, good shot, a good view. Um, yeah, apparently there's some Civil War graves around here, so you know it's it's pretty old. Um, I, actually, I learned something today. In 1873, there was a cholera outbreak in the in the area. So. And so some of those 
were buried here. They call it a, uh, see there's that born 1862. They call it a, a potter's grave where they were building. I guess that just means, I guess that just means um, maybe they couldn't afford to be buried or it's a really old one. You can kind of see the road, road down there. So I don't know if I'm walking towards the entrance right now. I actually don't know. I was really trying to find a find a good view over here, but I don't I don't think I am. I can't even I see that well. So it is, like I said, it's about six six o'clock right now. Um It's uh, definitely, definitely fall because it's, um, it's about 60 degrees right now. I like that view of the, I'm going to walk back this way, I might cut down through. Through over here. Oh, there we go. There we go. I can kind of see see some of the buildings downtown right there. It's just let's see. Maybe I can get a better view. But um, yeah, I'm not out here uh, trying to get EVPs or anything or contact anybody out here. I just wish um, you know, the peace uh, for everyone here. I don't want to disturb anybody but uh, I mean if you guys catch anything or hear anything you know that's one thing or see anything so keep an eye out um, just in case you do we'll check it out but uh, yeah I'm just just doing a little historical excursion going places I've never been I like to like to know my surroundings know the city and this is a this is a nice city if um, you know it's small but there's history and all kind of things so but also if you would just um, like and subscribe to my Instagram at cousins3507 and you can also follow me on Twitter um, I'll put the link in the description. I've got some, uh, I think it's Jackie B. Cuz. I, I always get it wrong, so I don't want to give you the wrong, wrong address. Yeah, so maybe I'll try to, um, cut over to the other side of the park here. I'm going to just walk right around here real quick. Sorry about that. Let's see. These are some old looking old looking tombstones sometimes you can actually see through the camera what the names are better better than you can see it um i've i've been uh you know i was thinking last night okay i got a got a few places i could go what's um wonder what's going to work and uh you know this place is Maybe, you know, it's it's across town. I work on South Side. This is more the downtown area. So it's not, but it's not too far from my work with the way traffic is going these days. It takes a little while to to get from place to place. All right, so that's the, that's the let me see if I can get the, it's the Regions Tower right there. And then there's a, that's a AT&T or Bell South. And then there's a, Wells Fargo building up there. We got some old hotels down there. But uh, yeah, some great, great views up here, really. But let's go see if we can find anything. I got about, I'm not gonna let it run over 20 minutes, so I got a little bit of time left before I let you go and say goodbye and 
it's cool how these they've built these kind of stair step and it's nice stone too actually there's a toppled grave I don't know what happened there that one's got a bunch of moss on it it's a little grave there yeah okay so I think that that right there is the groundskeeper's house or something I'm not sure look at all those right there but okay I can kind of see the road through here so I don't I don't know I think it's like early 1800s this place was was built look over there that's a I think that's a sarcophagus maybe go check that out or a mausoleum a sarcophagus but I still don't know where the entrance is like I said I just kind of jumped a jumped a fence and I'm not gonna stay after nightfall so I'll get out of here so everybody knows I'm not up to, to no good because uh, yeah and um, by the way by the way it is October and so that kind of has something to do with what got me thinking maybe go um, go over to some cemeteries um, because I guess some people think that's spooky or um, it is what it is so let's check this out here's a here's an old sarcophagus yeah. let's see it's from 1814 to 1882 Lynn now I know we have a Lynn Park and I know a guy's name was Charles Lynn but I don't know if he was uh, L-I-N-N, -N, but we have a partner after him. He was uh, from from Finland and just another pioneer of the town, but yeah, that's a that's a nice door right there. It's a nice, nice mausoleum. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, same Captain Charles Lynn. As he, oh, Sweden, sorry. Um, yeah ironworks you can freeze that and read it but um yeah if you don't know anything about the history of Birmingham which unless you're from here I don't know why you would but it's uh it's iron iron is um how it started back in the industrial revolution some people think steel but there really wasn't even that much steel production by the time the uh the steel industry got off the ground that was all in Pittsburgh and United Steel but um yeah and that's that's who the other guy was was Sloss from Sloss Furnace um, I'm not sure sure where he is if I can find a find an exact location I'll maybe come back here and just document that but you know and that's what this is too is just documentation I mean for posterity or I actually did a project back in high school, I'll try to tell this story real quick, where um, we went to an old graveyard. Oh, that's a that's a good good view right there. We went to an old graveyard and we documented the the names. It was a historical society, so we actually did um, we did um, etchings of the of the stones because it's kinda hard to see sometimes so it's hard to know who's buried here but there's some porta potties down there so I don't know what that's about it's pretty cool I don't know I thought I, thought I could get a better view I thought I might be able to get a better view of the city but you can only do do what you can do so it's kind of getting dark out here the sun's going down it's that time of year where it yeah, his name is Jack it's a world war one it's, like I said getting getting dark earlier as everyone knows it does and it's getting cooler which is a nice break because we had a huge um, uh, I, I might roll this video into two so I might just keep going because this is kind of interesting we had a uh, had a hot summer, but um, I won't go get a little bit of cooler weather here. 
And so this is, this might be the best view I can get right here. I don't know. Those Fargo regions, a lot of banks. I don't know if you can see if it's AT&T. But uh, yeah, so this is Jones Valley. There's a hotel right there that they've just restored. Um, but yeah, if you uh, if you like this video, um, let me know, and I can come back here and maybe try to see where the firstborn male in Birmingham was, and um, just uh, you know maybe look around a little more. I don't know, find some more historical Herbert John Johnson Gertrude. Okay, so maybe that's the entrance down there. Maybe that's where you come in. Looks like there might be a gate back there. But anyway, um, uh, I'll let you. We'll we'll walk out because um, you know might see something something cool, something interesting. It's broken. Old trees. We get a better better view but I haven't seen anybody here so I don't know if it's just open yeah I think that's the entrance where I was just just looking down there let's see here's another mausoleum okay yes I do See who this is. C E C O C Kelly, 1885. That's cool. I don't know who that is. Uh, yeah. So there's the there's the entrance, I think, in the entrance house. There's the uh, Bell South and Alabama Power over there. Oh. So one cool thing is that it does. Um, does give you a view of city. Oh, that's a nice, nice Celtic cross there. Yeah, these uh, these are some pretty, uh, pretty good looking graves. I'm just, I mean, very nice stones. I mean, a lot of them are a little bit aged, but that's that's what comes with uh, historical historical locations. Um, yeah, and I mean, I'm glad that I've got to come. Okay, I think here's kind of a cool view because we are on a hill here. So here's a cool view of the city. Let's see, okay, that's a parking deck. USA, American flag. I think we'll get a break here. All right, so maybe that might be the best shot I can get here. Let me see if I can get all our this is the pride of Birmingham, Alabama here. If you ever drive past here, you will recognize these buildings, but that's what we got right there. That's the skyscrapers right there. So we got, but we got some good architecture. We have some nice architecture and uh, just overall nice building. It looks like something's going on down. That's the BJCC, so that's, um, they're packed. I don't know if, uh, journeys playing tonight or something so like I said this is a uh, this place is in the heart of downtown so if you uh, if you want to be buried in a place that's happening come on come on over here this I don't know what that is over there I don't know what that is it looks like a some kind of hill or something I'm gonna go through here yeah so um, I guess I'm going to be, oh, I'll probably be on my way, my way out right here. Just trying to get a good, yeah. Thank you for coming along and being with me. Sorry I, I ran long. This place was um, pretty cool. It was, uh, I didn't know what I was going to encounter here. But, uh, 
So yeah, but all right. Well, I'd love to love to keep filming, but if you can see, there's the gate right there, and that was the one I drive by, and it was closed. So I don't know if they close it up, but anyway, I'm gonna try to get out of here. There's a house right there, and um, I'll catch you guys later. Like and subscribe. Thanks.